to our one and only choir concert of the year. We are just really excited to be here, um, and you're going to hear from all three of our high school choirs tonight. Each group has about four songs, and so we're going to just keep this music rolling right along. The next song is in the style of a spiritual, but I think has um, contemporary relevance and, and a bit of a contemporary style. Like a mighty stream.
Um, for some of these students up here, the, the ones that have been in the Marshall Public Schools, um, this is their first concert in over two years. As eighth graders, um, last year the fall concert got snowed out, and then we won't talk about what happened after that. Um, but so we're just really, really thrilled to be here. Um, it's been a journey of a year, as you can imagine. Um, we all thought that hybrid was going to be kind of the best of, of all worlds, and the fact of the matter was, um, it wasn't. And uh, we had to be really creative with what we were rehearsing each day. There were different people in the room every day of the week. And so what you did the day before, some had heard and some hadn't. And um, it, was, it, it was an interesting year. The progress that these guys made um, since we've been back face to face in, in late February has been just really exciting. So we're glad we could share our music with you tonight. The last one that this mixed choir is going to sing is one that we started working on in the fall of the year when we were hybrid and we had to rearrange it and make it just two parts and now we've expanded it a little bit. So here is um, a good toe tapping piece um, from a sort of little known musical, Sweet Charity, Rhythm of Life. Oh, no. 
that girl because I love you only. Water, come, help me, and I'll stop your Liza now. Come back, Liza, come back, girl. Water, come, help me, and I'll stop your Liza. Come back, Liza, come back, girl.
again, a lot of fun it has been to work with this choir. Um, a kind of a rare thing is um, to be able to have a choir that has more male voices than female. So that was kind of a fun challenge to deal with. Um, and in fact, this is a good time to get a sh give a shout out to two juniors. Charlie Wafels, raise your hand, wave, and Micah, wave your hand. And why you're clapping is that these two guys, um, they were just so very gracious as, as schedules were coming together in the fall. Our concert choir had the strangest voicing with um, many women and like two or three guys. And um, like I said, they were just so gracious to be able to work on their schedules. And um, we knew everybody would have a better experience if we could keep all of these guys together. And then the concert choir that will come up in a little bit is strictly um, a travel group. So it's been fun and we have greatly appreciated that. And there's just lots of great leaders in here. It's been, it's been fun to work with. Um, this next piece is kind of a quirky little thing, uh, newly composed, and it's called Hands, and it has a hands accompaniment throughout it that this lovely group is going to help lead. We're going to do some of it with the whole choir. Still haven't figured out if it was designed to be trying to clap the whole time while you're singing. It's a challenge that I wasn't able to meet, I can tell you that, but we had fun with it. So here is Hands, and then for the last piece that this group is going to sing, we're actually going to join forces with um, the, the concert choir coming down after this one. But first, here's Hands.
interesting this year was to work with um, a little bit more advanced treble choir and um, I didn't have a lot of familiarity with, with some of the music so I spent a good deal of time doing some digging and that was really kind of fun. I thought this was just a little gem of a piece, lineage, um, women reflecting on um, the past strong women role models in their lives. And, and so the words are kind of weird, talking about remembering the smells of their grandma, smelling like onion and what else is it? And soap. That's a good <laughs> Anyway, we, we had fun with this piece, and we were delighted that um, a couple of our band guys came in to help us out with some percussions. Thank you guys too. Here is a vintage.
women. Um, this is a good place um, for us to acknowledge our seniors as we do every year. Um, seniors, we can't have you stand like you did in band. So I'm going to say seniors come about six feet in front of the risers to be recognized, please. Jeanette, I don't know where you are, but um, 
You are awesome. <laughs> um, Jeanette, I, I have had through the years the most amazing parents in my room, and they all bring different gifts with them, and it, it's just been really fun. We're, we're really blessed at this school to have a good, a good group of people as support staff. Um, Jeanette happens to love music, as you can tell, and so um, it was just awesome to have her jump in and do so much. She would take care of her her duties to which she was assigned, and then she'd go overboard and say, well, how can I help? Well, I can take that music home tonight to do such and such with it. I'm going, seriously? Wow. Um, and so, Jeanette, it was great to have you help out with our ensembles tonight, and we just really appreciate you. So, here's a round of applause for you. I need a wonderfully talented and faithful accompanist to stand up and take a bow. Sue Schreier is amazing. We've been trying to figure out how many years she's been helping out here at um, in our schools, both at the middle school and high school, and it's um, it's quite some time. She she predates me in this building for sure. So. Um, we really appreciate everything you do. All right, we've got two more members, is that right? All right, Hamilton, a Hamilton medley kind of honoring some of the women in that show. We don't always think of that, but um, this is a cool piece. I think one of the students found it, if I'm not, sure, if I'm not um, mistaken. I can't remember who it was, but we hope you enjoy it. She 
arrived at the last song. I think I never wanted it to end. Um, golly gosh, as you know, um, this will be my last year in this position here. I am moving on to retire, staying around the area, so I'll be around. Um, this piece was one that um, I always wanted to end my career with. It's just such a great piece, and I'm so thrilled that these gals really grabbed hold of it as well. Um, just a, a couple more thank yous that I have to make. Um, thanks to all the students. It's just been a, a really nice run, and gosh, that's, that's really what it's all about. You know, that old adage about pick a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I maybe worked a few days, but um, <laughs> I have to say, it's, it's just been, it's been tons of fun. Um, hate to mention too many people to thank because I'll, I'll, I'll miss some, but um, two groups that, that I just have to mention. One is um, my colleagues. Um, I know most of our music folk are sitting up in the spot stamped with their names on it just about. And um, what fun it has been to be able to um, just professionally interact with such a great team and then to be able to call them my very dear friends as well. You guys are the best and you've made it just really fun. So thank you guys. Um, I, I already mentioned some of the support staff in this building. Um, it's, it's been just a great place to be. Administration has been, has been awesome. Um, an example of, of Mr. Jones' greatness. There's many things I could write about, but uh, it was so funny, just kind of offhandedly at the beginning of this year, he said, you know, as we were talking about learning formats, he said, I, I bet it's entirely possible that we'll be in hybrid and we'll be in distance learning, and we'll be face-to-face. -face. And I'm telling you, as soon as he said that way back last August, I pretty much started getting ready for all those things because he knows what he's talking about. It's been just really great to have that kind of leadership. Um, just awesome. And, and of course, I know that um, every or most people end up thanking their families. And um, oh, my husband Larry has been just awesome. There is no way I could have done this job all of these years without someone like that behind me, especially in the years um, of raising our, our two young children who are now nearing 30. Um, I, was, I, was list, I was on YouTube this weekend looking for some um, parodies on retirement songs. And one that I came across had used um, that song, Nine to Five, only it changed around and said that uh, for, for many teachers, it's um, five to nine, five a.m. to nine p.m. <laughs> and you know, that's not so far from the truth. And to have somebody man in the fires at home um, was just awesome. So thank you tons for that, Larry. Um, it's, been, it's been good. I'll still be around, but. Thanks to everybody. So to that, I will give a round of applause. And then just a couple of words about this last song. I thought seriously of putting the whole text in the program, but then I would have to have another page. So I'll just really <laughs> quickly tell you about it. Um, it's just a great text anyway but it is so relevant to our present situation. You know, one of the most, um, one of the most astounding, I don't know if that's what the word is, but impressive things that I heard in the last year, um, I heard on um, the late, the, the Jimmy Fallon show, which seems like a weird place to hear something that really affects me so much. And I, I shared it with these gals um, there was an artist on one night. I have no idea who he was and I haven't seen him or anything since, but in speaking of the pandemic, he made this statement. He said, science is going to get us out of this mess, and I think it has been, but the arts will bring
carry us through it. And I think that's pretty profound. And I also think it's really true. And so each and every day that we've been working, that's been getting us through it. In this song, The Awakening, the scene is set at the beginning in a dream. And it's a dream where there is no sound, no music, no sound. One of my favorite parts in that beginning section is where there are lots of very discordant sounds as they just really um, revel in that reality. No hallelujahs, no hosannas, no lullabies, no nothing. And then in about the middle of the song, you hear a little part that reminds me of a faraway trumpet. And the words change to And everything gradually comes back to life. And it ends with the quote that I included in the program. Let music never die in me. Forever let my spirit sing. And I just think that's a great philosophy. And we hope you enjoy the awakening.
Myers. That's Wayne Myers. Um, I just wanted to give you a um, gift of flowers along with your other gifts from the music department. Um, we've just really treasured these years that you've been here in Marshall with us um, in PLC, working and collaborating together, and, and, and just um, seeing the way you work with the students. Um, you give so much of your time. We talked about it already, late nights, early mornings, um, free lessons, helping kids get ready for contests. And just when kids want extra help, um, you've always been a giver, and you've given so much for this program and to us and to Marshall. Um, so we just want to thank you for being a great colleague and a, and a great person. We're gonna miss you so much. Uh, this building's gonna miss you. Um, um, I don't know why I thought of this backstage, but I thought of uh, when you interviewed here and you've been in Lakeview for so long, and you talked about, well, why would you possibly wanna go somewhere else when you're being so successful? And you talked about, um, am I gonna finish a career treading water or really swimming? And Cheryl, you swam here, and you made such a massive difference for all the kids and for us. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I'm just going to give you a brief recap about Cheryl's career. And so uh, tonight, Cheryl wraps up her 41st year as a teacher and probably close to her 400th concert. Over those years, um, and, and I had some help with this, Cheryl, so it's not all, all, all me, but if you think about the number of lives of students and young people that, that Cheryl has touched, it's probably just shy of close to 5,000. And so that's, a, that's an amazing feat, an amazing career. So on behalf of the, the staff and the, the students at Marshall High School, we wanna say thank you for all that you've done, you came here in 2013, and uh, those these past eight years, it's been a pleasure and a joy to work with you. And for you students, the one thing that I will always stick with me about Mrs. Jessica is her willingness to put in time and work hard to help give you all great experiences. So thank you, enjoy retirement, traveling with Larry, time with your kids, doing those things that you enjoy, maybe even subbing at Marshall High School. Thanks to all of you. This was fun. <laughs> <laughs>